so far, I am gravitating towards supporting the United Colonies in Starfield rather than the Freestyle Collective. But that's only my first impressions. What's up guys, Ace Thorn here, and this is not a full-length lore video, uh, but it's just my current thoughts, as I am waiting anxiously to be able to play the game. Uh, my thoughts on the two armies can change over time, especially once I actually start playing the game. I can't play the game yet because I don't want to spend the extra money to get early access. Uh, so, as of right now, the game is going to come out on September 5th at 7 p.m. in the Central Time Zone, so that's when I'm, that's when I'm going to be getting the game. Now, but for the time being, my initial thoughts are to side with the United Colonies. Now, here's the reason why. The uh, United Colonies are, appear, from my understanding of the lore, which is admittedly very brief, they appear to be seeking to unite all the planets in the settled systems under one government. The Freestyle Collective, on the other hand, uh, wants to give every planet its own autonomous government. So it's basically the American Civil War Union versus Confederacy. Now here's the reason why I support, at least in theory, the United Colonies' uh, position. First of all, large governments under a single umbrella tend to create the biggest and most booming economies. I mean, look at the United States, the, by far the richest country in the world. Mostly, and that could be due to a lot, uh, in large part, to the fact that uh, it's not just one government, but 50 states all united, hence the name United States. Compare that to the only other governmental body in the world with a GDP that can actually surpasses that of the United States, which is the European Union. Uh, not exact, not officially one government, not just one country, but they still cooperate with each other to a very large extent. And that has obviously paid off. The teamwork and the uh, specialization and distributions of duties, that has obviously paid off. They have the only economy in the world that is bigger than that of the United States. So that's one reason why I believe the United Colonies has the right idea. Another good one is that granting individual states too much autonomy, in at least here on Earth, tends to lead to human rights abuses. I mean, we have the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, but if there's no way for countries to enforce that on each other, it's mostly just a suggestion. Like, I mean, try and go actually go and hold uh, Kim Jong-il accountable for all his human rights abuses. Try and go and do that in Saudi Arabia. You're not going to be able to. There, we don't have any sovereignty there. We don't have any jurisdiction there. So there's really nothing we can do about it. If, the, if we actually united under a one-world government, then the United Nations would obviously have the power to send in the international troops to put these tyrannical governments in their place. Now, I'd like to emphasize again, this could easily change over time. Uh, in the in Styrum, I side with the Stormcloaks, as you are all well aware. Primarily, uh, and, and even though the biggest reason to uh, in support of siding with the Empire is the fact that it's better for the economy overall. <laughs> and I acknowledge that. The, but of course, actually, once I actually started playing the game and I got to understand the totality of the circumstances, my my sentimentalities obviously gravitated more towards the Stormcloaks. That could very easily happen when I start playing uh, Starfield. So this is just me giving my thoughts on the matter as I enter, as I start playing the game. So. So, it, right now, it's September 4th, 2023. It's uh, less than 24 hours until I can finally play the game. Tomorrow evening, September 5th, or by the time this goes up, this evening, um, at around 7 o'clock Central Time Zone, 
you be sure to come by my Twitch channel and check me and I'll play this game on live stream. In the meantime, however, I'm Acer Thorn, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!